Welcome to SAC Metro Air District's online services portal. The online services portal will serve as an interactive dashboard for customers that will house all business reporting information, application status, billing and payments, and important notifications from the SAC Metro Air District. You are currently watching part one, creating an account and logging in. This video will assist you with creating an account and updating your organization's contact information. You can also watch a separate video, part two, annual report submittal, that will explain how to submit your annual reporting information into the online services portal. Before we get started, if you are a current permit holder with the SAC Metro Air District, it is important that you have your organization and account number available before you begin creating your customer account. If you do not have your organization ID and account number, and you are a current permit holder, please pause the video and contact the SAC Metro Air District by calling area code 279-207-1122, or by sending an email to compliance at airquality.org. This information is necessary to connect your account to the correct organization. If you already have created your account, but without an organization, or you are not seeing all of your organization's information, please call us at area code 279-207-1122. If you are a new applicant and have not previously done business with the Air District, you will add in your organization information during the registration process. Step one accessing the online services portal. Open a web browser. Microsoft Edge is the preferred browser for this platform, but you may use the browser of your choice, such as Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or Safari. Navigate to airquality.org forward slash services and click the green button, online services portal. You will be directed to the online portal login page. Reminder, if you are a current permit holder with the SAC Metro Air District, it is important that you have your organization ID and account number available before you begin creating your customer account. If you do not have your organization ID and account number, and you are a current permit holder, please contact the SAC Metro Air District by calling area code 279 207-1122. With your organization ID and account number ready, locate the Don't Have an Account? Register Here and click on the button that says Register Here. Step two, complete the registration form. Enter the required user information, your full name, your first and last name, your phone number, provide a valid and active phone number for registration and future correspondence. Your email, provide a valid and active email address for registration and future correspondence. And create a strong password that combines eight characters and includes at, includes at least one uppercase letter, one number, and one special character. Re-enter the password to confirm. Enter the required organization information under the organization information box. In the search existing box, start typing your business name and it will populate with similar business names. Please choose your business name with the ID that matches your organization ID from the drop-down list. Reminder, existing customers with an organization on file must have their account number to access their organization. Once the organization name and account number are added, please click on the blue plus sign to add it to your account.
click submit button below ID and name to finalize your registration. If successful, you will see a pop-up that says success, registration successful. You will be direct redirected to login. To login, please click the login now button. Return to the online portal login page at area.airquality.org forward slash login. Enter your registered email address or username and the password you created. Click the sign in button to access your account. Step four, navigating the area portal. Once you are successfully logged in, you will arrive at the main dashboard or homepage. Home. The homepage displays your important due dates for reports and submittals, bills and payment due dates, your current and past application summary, and quick links to navigate the online portal and to complete your required tasks. Step five, review organization's current contact information. Click on the profile tab in the navigation bar at the top of the area website. Here, you can update your user information and organization information by clicking on the name of the organization under my organizations. Here, you can edit your contact addresses, phone numbers, and emails, and even opt to go paperless. To edit an address or contact, click on the blue ID for the line you wish to edit. A new screen will pop up where you will be able to make changes to the information or deactivate that contact information. If you have more than one billing and mailing contact, please designate one as the primary contact. To add a new address or contact, click the plus button on the right side of the screen of the section you would like to add to. At the very bottom of the page, you will find a list of facilities or locations and permits listed for the organization. Step six, log out. Once you have completed your tasks, select log out to securely exit the portal. Best practices. Bookmark the online portal login page for quick access. Ensure your registered email address remains active to receive system notifications and updates. Regularly check the help section for updates or troubleshooting guidance. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This concludes the instructions for creating an account and overview of the online services portal. Please watch the second tutorial video to learn more about submitting your annual report.